Hello class, this is our second lecture video for linear inequalities and our fourth lecture video for ITMS02. For this lesson, we will cover systems of linear inequalities in two variables. So, no nakaraang mga lecture video natin, ang diniscuss natin ay systems of linear equations. So, this time, inequalities na tayo. At the end of this video, you will be expected to learn how to illustrate systems of linear inequalities into variables and identify the solutions of uh, systems of linear inequalities through graphs. Ano nga ba ang system of linear inequalities? Similar to the systems of linear equations into variables, ang ating linear inequalities or systems of linear inequalities ay composed of two or more linear inequalities in the same variables. Examples natin na itong dalawang ito. So in this example, ito ay linear inequality or system of linear inequalities because we have the same variables x here, y. Another is this one. Itong x is greater than or equal to 2. This is still a uh, linear inequality in two variables. Why? Because y is a free variable. And yung second, there should be an inequality. So in this can either be greater than then, or pwedeng less than, or whatever. So this is a typographical error. I apologize for that. This could take any of these uh, symbols. So basically, yun yung pinaka- definition or pinaka itsura ng ating system of linear inequalities in two variables. Paano nga ba tayo maghahanap ng solution ng systems of linear inequalities? Ang ginagawa natin is graphing. We have to find the intersection of the solution sets of each linear inequality. So, solution natin ay the ordered pairs that satisfy our inequalities. Yung tinatawag nating overlap or intersection sa graph ng ating inequalities ay yun yung region of common ordered pair solutions. Or simply say, yun yung kanilang solution set. You will understand this if, if we go ahead dun sa ating examples. First example, we have this one. 3x plus 5y is less than negative 5 and another x plus y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Papaano ba natin to? i-identify or i-determine yung solution ng ating linear inequalities. If we have these two equations, uh, two inequalities rather, following yung procedure natin sa last na video lesson natin, kung paano mag-graph ng ating inequalities, it is ideal for this uh, solution or for this process to use one Cartesian plane or one coordinate system katulad nito. Then you have to graph each of these inequalities based do sa procedure or do sa method kung paano natin siya ginagawa. Una, graph natin itong 3x plus 5y is less than negative 5. Ito yung line na magre-represent sa kanya. This one, itong broken line na yan, the red ones. And uh, yung ordered pair or yung solution set niya is represented by this shaded region right here, itong red Ito. Then, after that, we have to graph as well yung ating pangalawang inequality. This one, na represented ng solid line na blue, representing this inequality. Then, yung shaded region, yun yung solution set ng ating x plus y is less than or equal to negative 3. After doing so, makikita nyo, merong area dito, ito. This is the section, this is a section wherein nag-overlap yung dalawang solution set natin for, for both linear inequalities. Kukunin natin yan, and this will be represented by this shaded portion na may kulay na it might appear orange or yellow, depende sa screen ninyo. Itong specific or certain na area na ito, yung shaded ng orange or yellow, this is what you call your solution. This is the solution set 
na magsasatisfy dun sa ating given na linear inequality. Ulitin lang natin, ha? Ang una nating process na ginawa is i-graph muna natin yung ating linear inequalities, yung parehas. So, yung inuna natin tong 3x plus 5y is less than negative 5. This is 1. This, this one, represented by this broken line. Then, yung shaded region, which is yung red, yan yung solution set niya. Then, next, we have the second inequality right here, x plus y, is greater than or equal to negative 3. Sorry for the error right here. It should be greater than or equal to negative 3. Yung shaded portion na ito, tong blue, or it might appear like violet sa inyo, ito yung, shade, ito yung solution set for this second inequality right here. And kung makikita ninyo, meron silang overlap, may intersection, may section, or may bahagi kung saan sila ay may common na sagot. At yung common area na yan, this one, represented by this yellow or orange na portion, is what you call your solution. So I hope that's clear. Kapag ka nag-plot kayo, pag plinat nyo yung sagot ng inequalities na to, tong systems, tong system ng linear inequality na ito, ganito lang dapat ang magiging itsura. Ipapakita nyo lang kung saan sila mag-overlap. So in this case, this is your final answer. This will be the graph na dapat ipepresent nyo or uh, ipapasa ninyo. Ganun lang siya kadali. You just have to remember how to graph yung ating mga linear inequality. For our second example, this is actually our last example, we have this linear inequality right here. Uh, itong equal dito sa pangalawang inequality dito, this should be, if I'm not mistaken, siya ay Greater than. Greater than dapat to. Pakipalitan na lang. We have these inequalities. X is greater than or equal to 2. And X minus 3Y is less than negative 1. Following the same procedure, you have to graph then ulit itong dalawang uh, inequalities natin. So, unahin na natin yung X is greater than or equal to 2. Represented by this red line, red solid line. And it, ang uh, ordered uh, pairs or solution set niya is represented by this shaded region na pula. Then, yung ating x minus 3y is greater than 1 is represented by this one. Ah, I apologize, this should be negative 1 pala. Typographical error. This graph right here, itong broken line. Na to, this blue one, ito yung graph na ating x minus 3y is greater than negative 1. And the uh, solution set is represented by this region, shaded ng blue. And if you notice, ito yung kanila point or uh, region of intersection, this one, ito. Meaning, dahil dito sila nag-intersect, from our previous understanding, yan yung magiging solution natin. Ito yung magiging solution natin, represented by this orange or yellow colored na region. Okay? Ganun lang kadali. Mag-identify ng solutions on systems of linear inequalities. Hindi na natin kailang pagdaanan yung kagaya sa linear equations na algebraic method. Yung substitution, elimination. Graphing lang ang kailangan nating skill sa pag-identify na solution set ng ating systems of linear inequalities. And we're done. Ganun lang kaikli itong part na to, ng discussion na ito, since graphing lang naman ang involved na process. Huwag nyo lang kalilimutan kung papaano yung proper way or method of graphing linear inequalities. For your activity, uh, you have to visit your official learning management platform and see the attached activity and follow the instruction. Please stand by for the next batch of lecture videos. Thank you for watching.